This is the Intellibeam unboxing for the Mimosa C5X modular radio uh, and the Mimosa N5 slash X16 horn for this particular radio. So first we'll unbox the radio itself and then uh, take out the horn and I will show you what that looks like. So inside the box we have your Mimosa Quick Start Guide, the radio itself, and then two metal pole clamps. This out of here. So here's the radio. Uh, at first glance, if you've used Ubiquity before, uh, you'll notice that this one is all aluminum instead of the ubiquity one so when you see it you kind of think oh it's kind of small same thing but this thing is it's night and day compared to any of the older air max devices um so it's all aluminum uh, other than the spot for the poe it's a 24 volt passive poe that goes in here so put this back on but basically you have the set screw for the horn that will put on um, and then you have the grounding spot in the back and two different uh, spots for the pipe clamps. Uh, this particular radio is 8 dBi uh, by itself. If you're going to use it, you just take out this screw and you can just use it standalone as an 8 dBi radio. Uh, more importantly, there's no PoE, PoE in the box, so you kind of have to make sure you buy one of those in advance. Uh, the speed on this is up to 500 uh, megs uh, point to multi point and then 700 on the point to point uh, with 4.9 to 6.4 gigahertz. So let's check out the horn now. This particular one is the 16 dBi horn. So this is 8 by itself. You can get a 12, uh, a 16, a 20, or a 25 depending on your uh, scenario you got going on. Uh, so here it tells you how to put it on. Just basically screw it in clockwise and then make sure you uh, line it up with the set screw that's on here. So you get your warnings and warranty guide, a cool piece of circle foam, and then the horn itself. So let's do this. Uh, so same thing on this. This is aluminum as well. Uh, even the front of the horn. And then on the back you have your uh, will you be screwed it in with the threads and then also there is a gray marker uh, where you'll have to have the set stop screw on here line up to that so you can uh, end up aligning the radio uh, and whatnot. So just keep that in mind when you're screwing it in. Just don't willy-nilly put the thing in and expect to uh, align it. So basically screw it on right here. See, I almost just willy-nilly screwed it on. Uh, first just line it up with uh, the mark itself and the set screw. You'll get the best result from that. Screw it on and crank it, and as long as you get it within the gray that's on here, you'll be all set to uh, align it and whatnot. So that's what it looks like, for the most part, with the uh, 16 dBi horn installed. So once again, that was the Mimosa C5X uh, and the Mimosa N5 X16 horn unboxing by Intellibeam. Technology of tomorrow, today.